Hey there, Ryan Kennedy here from the International Franchise Association. Happy to be with Congresswoman Karen Handel today from Georgia. Thanks so much for Absolutely being with us. Absolutely delighted to be with you. Wanted to uh, give your constituents back home a chance to get to know you a little bit better on a personal level, uh, right from the source. So I want to get into a few hard-hitting questions. Okay. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to go great. Okay, good. I'm so ready. The first hard question I have for you is, um, in the movie about your time in Congress, uh, which actor or actress would portray you? Angie Harmon, who was Jane Rizzoli on Rizzoli and Isles, formerly of Law and Order. Oh, very nice. Yeah. We haven't had a TV show yet. That's the first TV show we've had. Most of the time we get movies, but yeah, that's a no, good one. She, she rocks. That's awesome. What do you think is important to small business owners right now that's being talked about here in D.C.? And what are you seeing back home? Well, one of the most important things that I'm hearing from small business owners is the incredible positive impact of the tax cuts in Johnsville. Uh, being able to uh, do more with their employees, being able to expand, make new hires, um, some have given bonuses. So all of that when companies can um, see lower tax rates, full and immediate expensing, let's say you are maybe one of those car care mm -hmm. centers and you need to get some new equipment, full and immediate expensing for that new equipment. That's really important buying new equipment that's helping another small business down the road as well and on top of that you know for the franchisees they are small business owners for the most part mm -hmm. and they are intricately intric intricately involved within the community and are integral to community activities through um, the franchise association but also other associations and how they support nonprofits throughout the community and really make a very, very impact, big impact there. Uh, so shifting gears a little bit back to you, uh, obviously being a member of Congress is a very, uh, you know, you're very busy all the time. I'm sure you wake up really early in the morning, you go to bed late at night. Are, are you a coffee person? How Absolutely, do you coffee. Hot coffee or iced coffee? Hot coffee with cream. Hot coffee with cream. Okay, we're taking a tally to see if no. members of Congress prefer hot or ice. Hot is winning by a long yes, shot. Yes. Uh, we're also keeping an ice cream tally. So what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Anything chocolate. Anything chocolate. That's how I am. I, I can do without vanilla, but we've had a few vanilla answers. <laughs> um, you know, and looking, looking beyond taxes and getting back into franchising for a second, um, do you think that there are community impacts that aren't seen as much in the news. Like, how do you feel that small business owners are interacting with their neighbors? Because a lot of times, I think people will drive by franchises and say, oh, well, there's a, a huge conglomerate corporation. Right. Are you seeing anything in the district that might, you know, lead your constituents to believe otherwise, that, hey, these big brands are really small business owners? Well, the big brands are the big brands, but in a local community, those are small business people running those, whether it is the local fast food or the car care center, any of those places. And those are the companies to which the nonprofit community uh, go to for sponsorships, whether it be to raise money for the Drake House in Roswell or um, any other assorted nonprofits and community impact organizations throughout the district. Um, that's where these small businesses, franchisees come into play, whether they are doing in-kind contributions of food or ice cream or doing um, gifts for the raffles. Those things all make a huge impact so that we can really bolster and, and uh, lift up the community organizations throughout certainly the 6th district, but it happens all around the country. Sure, sure. Um, you know, uh, a great thing about Georgia is college football. So how's college football season looking for the several universities in Georgia? The, the Handel household, by virtue of my husband Steve, is a bulldog household. No disrespect to anyone else. Um, I actually am an NFL girl, so okay. I'm all about uh, uh, Sundays and football. I watch the college stuff, but I really know my, my NFL football. Well, the Falcons are strong, and they've been strong. Falcons should be so. strong. We should have a pretty good team, yeah. a little little bit of rebuild to do. Sure, sure. Well, I want to get you out on a final question. I want to give you a chance to tell your constituents maybe something they don't know about you. What they don't know about me? Well, the people of the 6th District tend to, I think, know me pretty well. Um, I'm not sure I can think of too, too much that they wouldn't know about me. Maybe 
um, certainly my passion for NFL football. I do manage my own, my very own uh, fantasy football team. Hey. So That's I don't have any help on it. I do it all myself. So if anybody has any advice, let me know because I've been the runner up three years in a row. I am also looking for advice, <laughs> so maybe I'll reach out. <laughs> well, thank you for your time today. Thank you. It's been a real, uh, real pleasure you. getting to And let you. me just say to your, your uh, members, thank you very much for your engagement in the community, what you do for uh, the economy and business throughout the 6th District, and for your friendship and support to me. I appreciate it a great deal. Thank you, and we appreciate you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks.